Look, I'm not in the mood for riddles, Henry. I want you to tell me exactly what you saw Carly do and with whom. I saw clothes, Rosanna, lots of clothes, all over the office floor. Very classy. Mm -hmm. What else? Well, she and her companion were very animated. There's lots of giggling, there was lots of <sighs> gasping for air, that sort of thing. It'll all be in my report. It doesn't sound like you got a very good look at the person that she was with. How can you be sure it wasn't Detective Jack Snyder? Because my sources told me that Detective Snyder was right here at the Lakeview at the exact same time that Miss Tenney was otherwise engaged. So that leaves one prime candidate for her a more du jour, does it not? I knew Craig was unreliable. I... He just had so much to lose. Well, obviously he wasn't thinking with his calculator. I want to see some <laughs> photos. Show me some photos. Yeah, yeah. That, um, that could be a problem. What do you mean? What's the problem? Are they at the developers being... No, 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 no. I just, I had a run in with a building security person. The guard confiscated my camera. Wait a minute. This is outrageous. You come here, you tell me that Carly and Craig had sex in the office last night, and you don't bring me proof? Again. Really? He broke up with you. Don't act so surprised. You know, Mike. You knew how he'd respond. Well, you never can predict how someone's going to behave, can you? Cut the song and dance, Rosanna. You went out of your way to find out that I was the anonymous donor, and you had every intention of using that to keep Mike away from me. I know it's very convenient to blame me, but I am not the one who manipulated Mike. Fine. You're right. I made the mistake. I paid for it. Now, if you're done gloating, this room is reserved for a private party. You know, I can see what you and Carly have in common and why you're so close. You both lack any real appreciation for the truth. You both lie when it suits you, without any regard for the consequences. That's what broke up you and Mike. And if I know my sister, it'll destroy her and Jack as well. I'm not holding anything back, Jack. Oh, come on, Carly. That was the reason you spent all night here last night. Feeling alone and unloved. All right, I'll be honest with you. Honestly, I don't think there's anything I need to forgive you for, Jack. <laughs> I called off our wedding. I'm not sure I can forgive myself for that. You overreacted. So who hasn't overreacted? I, I have. I've done worse. No, you swore to me that I was the only man in your life, the only man you ever wanted. I should never have doubted you, Carly. I, I'm not going to say I'm sorry again. I just want you to know that I'm going to spend the rest of my life making you happy. Assuming that you still want to be my wife. I don't deserve you. <laughs> you don't deserve me? Just, just tell me you're still going to marry me tonight. Yes. Yes, yes, of course I'm going to marry oh. you, Jack. You're... You are the man of my dreams. My life is, is nothing without you. Now, uh... You should go. Because the way I must look, I don't, I don't want you to change your mind again. Oh, no, don't. Don't even joke. Listen, there are a couple things i got to tell you. One of them is kind of sensitive, so I think you should hear from me. What? Well, it sounds serious. What is it? Mike and Molly broke up. What happened? I saw Molly at the Lakeview. She told me about this donation she made to the hospital, the one she was keeping from Mike. I assume you know that. Yeah. She, Molly was so serious about keeping it a yeah, secret. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Listen, you should really give Molly a call. Without her, she... She was a big part of the reason why I'm here right now. What do you mean? She got my message that I called the wedding off. She asked me what happened. I, I tried to make her leave, but she hung in there, and she made me... She made me think. And she reminded me, among other things, that... Life is too short. And how rare true love is. Then maybe I would have come to those conclusions on my own, but... She's a good friend, Carly. To both of us. She is. Maybe there's some way I can help her. 
we might get back together. Yeah, well, it, it couldn't hurt. Listen, if, if you're ready to go, I don't mind waiting. No, this, I have a few things to do, and it's not going to take me long, but I work better if I'm alone. Listen, I'll sit in the corner. I won't Just say Just go, okay? <laughs> okay? I will be fine. All right, we okay. are going to have a great life. I know. I wish I could have gone somewhere. Anywhere. It was a very private conversation that you guys should have had alone. Well, I have nobody but myself to blame. Don't start blaming yourself, Corley. Why not? I am a horrible, just disgusting, despicable human being. Lying to the man I love or the man I slept with just a few hours ago is hiding around the corner. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? Okay, there's no reason Jack ever needs to find out about this, okay? It can be as if it never happened. Did you hear what he said? It was Molly who encouraged him to come after me. And isn't that just like her? To put her problems aside as she thought I needed help. And look what I give to her in return. I'm on Carlo, it's Carly. Hey, Carly, it's me, Molly. Is everything okay? Are you gonna be all right? Um, just give me a second to think about that, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Just give it to me straight. Is the wedding still off? Oh, no, no, it's on, cuz. Jack and I are getting married tonight. Ah! I knew it! I knew it! You stay right there, don't you move a muscle. I'm in my car, I'll be right there. No, Molly, I'm just gonna... Because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to give you. What do you say? You brought a present for me? Why? Because you appointed me your maid of honor? Because I love you? Go ahead. Open it. Oh, Molly. Oh, Molly. <laughs> magnificent. Uh, when I saw them in the store window, I just knew I had to get them for you, honey. Thank you. Okay, that's for something new. This is the old borrowed envelope. It's all three. <laughs> Can't wait to see what it is. It's from Jake's and my wedding. Honey, I just wish you and Jack as much happiness as we had. Oh, Molly. Oh, Molly. Thank you. Jack told me what happened with Mike, and I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. It's terrible. It's, no. it's, it's horrible. No, 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 no. We are not going there today, okay? Not on your special day. I'm going to be fine, all right? That's all you need to know. Hey, you, you don't need to protect me. You hear me? If there's anything that I can do, is it anything The only you thing that you can do for me today is be as happy and have as much fun as you possibly can have. these in the garbage outside of Carly's office. It's an obvious attempt to conceal evidence. Well, this is progress, Mr. Coleman, but I'm still not paying you. Why not? A bottle of champagne and a couple of plastic glasses does not prove that Carly and Craig slept together. And I want pictures. Well, pictures after the fact are an impossibility, okay, Rosanna? I, however, if it is more proof that you require, then I will do everything in my power to get you that proof. Thank you very much. I suggest you work. I'm on my way. Well, it looks like I've got you, Craig. The soon-to-be-blushing bride as well. 